Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Joji and in today's video, I am very, very excited. I am finally trying this one on. This one is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlock. This is a holiday collection. It comes with three different type of washes. So one I have here is the Tiger and I believe there is an elephant and also a butterfly. I'm going to give you some swatches and the color story right after I talk about this palette. So make sure that you just stay tuned. First of all, this is how the palette look like this is the actual packaging itself and this is the box look like so what you get from outside is the same from the inside and I love the packaging of this it makes it a little bit more heavier and I like it and I love the color I love blue color as you can see my background is blue as well so this palette retails for $107 Canadian I got it from Sephora I thought I would like to pick this product because this is very warm and I like deeper tones. So basically medium to deeper undertones, this palette is supposed to look good. So the other palettes, I thought they're boring. I think the butterfly one, I didn't really like it because there's a lot of light color, which is not for me. The one with elephant, that one I'm contemplating between this and the elephant, but I go with this one because this is way warmer and I love the colors. Tori on this one, <laughs> color Tori. I love the color story on this one. I'm just super excited to try this on with you guys. So I'm going to give you some swatches, of course. All right, so here is the swatches. This is the darkest shade of the palette and I don't think that's too dark for me. It's actually really pretty. And look at that next shade right here. It's the highlighter. And then this tangerine orangey color, it's just so beautiful. And this is more of a golden highlighter, very, very subtle. And then right next to it, it's just a beautiful orangey, metallic -y with a little bit of that brown mixed to it. It's very warm as well. And this is a very nice color that included because there is that really nice rose pink, a little brighter. So overall, this palette is beautiful. I love the color story. I'm excited to try. This is going to be my first time. So let's go ahead and apply. All right, you guys, so I have nothing on except like eyeshadow and uh, of course foundation. I have a lipstick on as well. So I'm going to go from the darkest shade. I mean, we'll see, but I really like the way how this swatch. I'm gonna go with that one, dipping in with my MAC brush number 110. So this is a blush brush and just tapping it i noticed when i swatch this palette the powder is very very soft so this is something that it can be more pigmented because it's a soft pressed powder so be careful not to put too much i'm just gonna apply it right here and see how this looks like okay so that is the first dip i'm going to do a second layer and see okay so so far that's how it looks like it's not as dark on me i thought i was like oh this is going to be a dark color i actually don't see a lot of uh, pigment peeking through so that's good because the powder is very thin and very very soft i tried to apply the third time maybe more of a dabbing motion with this formula and see how it build up Okay, so I can see more color now and a lot of you guys that are probably more fair than me are thinking that this is going to be too dark. But looking at my skin right now, you can see that it's not as dark. Overall, it's it's really not. Like I can just see a barely there kind of and that is the third build up and you can take a look at it. It's beautiful. I really like this one. This is something that my skin would really gravitate to it because it just looks so good on me. Like a lot of my friends were thinking like not for me but when I saw this one I was just like gonna get that for sure. So I'm going to grab the second shade right here. I'm just gonna do apply the blushes first so we can see the color. So I'm gonna go with this orangey uh, thingy here. <laughs> orangey thingy. I'm gonna apply using my Narcissus Theo brush and this one you can see that it picks up a lot of product so let's see and this is a bit brighter when I did swatch Ooh, oh my goodness so this one definitely shows color right away as you can see it there nice very nice warm orange I really like that my skin would definitely benefit from this so there you have it I like it it has a little bit of that sheen to it like a nice glow in the blush so that's perfect. I'm just going to build up one more time just so you guys can see the whole thing. Oh, that's so, so pretty. 
I really like that color as you can see right there right that is so beautiful take a look at it so this is the orange side and this is the darkest shade of the palette when you look at it it's not really dark I mean I'm very surprised but it still look beautiful so I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to apply the two blushes left and the highlighter after that here we go so I'm just gonna clean my brush quickly here so we can get the nice shade from each color so that is clean I'm going to try this one here and see how it goes so cheeks are clean and see oh this one picks up more product as well as you can see there I'm gonna dab it and put it maybe here okay so that one first build up you can already see the product but I'm just gonna build up one more time okay so this you gotta be careful when applying it but I would say oh my goodness this is also a really beautiful color it has definitely that softer or subtle glow into the blush which is like you know me guys when it comes to the blush I love when sometimes it has a little bit of that glow because I don't need to put highlighter that is the build up really pretty I really like that so far oh my goodness I'm in love with this palette and I'm gonna build up just one more time so that you guys can see of course this shade is very very interesting it looks a little darker here but once it gets to the skin it's actually really not dark oh my god I'm so happy that I choose this palette so take a look at it and now let's apply this rosy undertone I'm excited with this one because it's definitely the lightest shade and less warm so let's put it in here oh I just died <laughs> oh my goodness that is so pretty you see that oh my goodness wow I did not expect this one at all like it's more pigmented and it looks more pinkier on the cheek than in the palette or swatch look at that do you see that like nice glow on the higher part of my cheek like it's beautiful let me apply one more time holy this is a beautiful palette you guys I am in love it's so beautiful look at that side as well wow it looks really different but they are all beautiful in their own way next up I'm just going to apply this light um, highlighter here I'm just gonna use a small brush so I'm gonna apply it on here and see how this sits on the skin oh my goodness that is very nice it definitely blended onto the blush very very easy it's just because the pigment is very soft i really like that it's super subtle you guys and it doesn't accentuate a lot of texture so it's beautiful and i think i put way too much blush now that i'm looking at my skin but anyway i wanted you guys to see so take a look at it and next up i'm gonna flip my brush and try this golden shade right here and this time I'm gonna be applying it on this side, on the pink side, and see. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's definitely a very pigmented one. So whenever you're applying a highlighter and you feel like you did apply way too much, get a fluffier brush and just kind of blend it a little bit. But that definitely looks way brighter and also very pigmented. So you don't want to put too much. Overall, a beautiful palette. So basically, this one contains a lot more blushes. So four different color of blush and two different highlighter. It's very, very good. So I would say that this palette is beautiful given the experience that I have with Hourglass with their foundations are not very very good I don't have a good luck but this is the first time that I tried and it's really good and this is going to be my final thought already with the blush I'm really loving it and there's an ambulance right now but forgive me guys um, excuse me that but anyway this palette is beautiful you have seen me swatch I still have swatches over here but also you have seen me apply it it's so easy to apply just make sure that you don't put too much especially with the two shades right here and I think the brighter orange here not brighter but more warmer but overall that's how 
it looks like it's beautiful i really love it and i do think now that i have hourglass blushes i would consider a lot more of their shades because i love the formula so i'm very very happy with the purchase and i would say it's worth it and i'm just going to mention quickly so this blush actually has 12 month shelf life after opening so that's good too but it's a powder really sometimes you don't need to follow this i would say I'm gonna use this like for three to four years like I'm bad but <laughs> don't follow me this is just my preference so anyway really good palette I really enjoy I will probably compare this to Charlotte Tilbury and let me know if you want to see that video comparing Charlotte Tilbury and this one but overall I really love the palette as well so yes thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up if you did and also don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you haven't yet thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video Bye guys!